<sighs> Happy Tuesday. Hey everyone, welcome to TV and Tunes Tuesday where I tell you about the things that I'm loving to watch and listen to that I think you should give a chance to. If that makes any sense. So normally I start off with the TV side of things, but today I'm actually going to start off with the Tunes side of things because the TV one is actually more going to be about movies. So as far as music goes, I've really been in a soundtrack kick. It's pretty much what it's been. It's been a lot of Broadway. Um, it's been the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack, which if you haven't seen my video where I did a full review kind of about why I liked Fifty Shades of Grey, and I know that there's a lot of people who still don't like the books, don't like the movies, don't like the culture of it. I, I understand that. Um, but I'm going to pull out a link to my video about Fifty Shades of Grey in the end slate so you guys can see it, as well as in the description bar below. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that here, but the soundtrack for that movie is incredible. And there was a whole lot of soundtracks that I've just been listening to besides that one. The other one that was from a recent release has to be from The Last Drive Years which was so good. If you don't know what The Last Five Years is, it is a movie that is based off of a musical by Jason Robert Brown. Uh, it stars Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan, and it's just a really good musical. I don't want to spoil anything for you, so definitely go check that out on iTunes, um, like the soundtrack and the movie. Um, then I started listening to the Heathers musical soundtrack, and oh, it's so good. I'm so angry. I never got a chance to see it on Broadway. Um, but if you haven't checked out the 1980s movie or 90s movie um, about Heathers, it's on Netflix. Please go watch it. It's great. Um, the soundtrack from the musical is really funny and really good. And uh, my favorite song has to be, uh, it's a tie between Dead Girl Walking, Candy Shop, and Beautiful. Those three are my absolute favorites. And then the last soundtrack that I'm really digging right now, because... It was announced today that Darren Chris will be taking over as the newest lead for this musical is the Hedwig and the Angry Inch soundtrack. So Darren Chris will be going back to Broadway in April to his second time on Broadway essentially, but this time for a three month run taking over the transgender story of Hedwig and the Angry Inch. If you don't know the story, the movie is on Netflix, I believe. If not, you can rent it on iTunes and Amazon. But the soundtrack is really good. It's really good. Um, the original Broadway production or revival, I guess, is sung by Neil Patrick Harris. So if you like Barney Stinson, then you're gonna like the music because it's really cool. So that is all for music that I've really been listening to that is pretty much on my heavy rotation other than the Glee songs um, from the past two weeks. But for today's uh, TV portion of it. I'm a little bit behind on some TV shows, but I recently did get to go to a screening for the movie The Duff. If you don't know what The Duff is, it is a movie that will be coming out later this month that stars Robbie Mel and Mae Whitman and a bunch of other awesome people. It is very high school cliche, but very awesome. If you like Mean Girls or any John Hughes movie, you're really gonna like this one. And I was fortunate enough to go to a Tumblr advanced screening in West Hollywood for it, or I think it was West Hollywood, I don't know where it was. It was in Hollywood somewhere, um, thanks to Tumblr. And they gave us a bunch of whole swag, uh, the sweatshirt that I wore in my 50 Shades of Grey video I got from them. I got a tote bag with a bunch of pins. Um, I got some stickers, like the one that I have on the back of the phone. So what was really cool is that after the movie, they actually let us do a Q&A with the stars in the movie. So I'm going to insert the clip of me asking a question to the stars, May Women and Robbie Amell right here. Hello. Well, first I have to say, Robbie, you did amazing on The Flash last night. Oh, thank you. And May, I have been binge watching binge watching Parenthood like 70 episodes in a week. It's insane. What so. episode are you at? For Parenthood? Yeah. She's season five, episode eight. Wow. So like really getting there. That's getting there. I, I'm getting ready getting for the feels. I'm getting ready for the feels. Um, my question for you is that this movie has a lot of negative connotations with hashtagging yourself. And I wanted to ask you if you could each think of a positive hashtag for yourself or like the duff of you, like what is the positive one that you could say? so many good things about myself to choose from. <laughs> I, I struggle with hashtags anyway. I'm like old and confused. How you, Robbie, tell me how to use a good hashtag. Um, 
I mean, that's tough. I think, I think, um, I think one of the things I wanted to, people to take away from the movie was not to change yourself for anyone and not to let you know somebody bully you into feeling a, a way that you shouldn't. You should be confident in who you are. So if you can turn that into a hashtag in less than 360 characters, whatever, how many? 140. <laughs> What's this old guy talking about? Oh, um, uh, yeah, I think that's smart as hell. I think you saying that, like, especially, like, there, I think there's a real tendency to, like, judge not only other people, but also ourselves. Like, I constantly find myself beating myself up about, you know, having, feeling a certain way or doing something some way or whatever, and I realize, like, that doesn't really serve you. I think oftentimes you can just use observations about yourself to grow or like and if you don't like it then you can be something else you know what I mean it's all up to you and I think just being easy on yourself and accepting kind of you know what your natural tendencies are will take you far <laughs> <laughs> hashtag don't judge <laughs> trend it trend it so after watching the movie, I definitely am going to recommend you guys get a chance to see it when it comes out in theaters. I believe it comes out February 20th. Uh, check your local listings for whenever it will be. But it's really cute. I really liked it. Very, just very great, great movie. Um, so that's about it for all of the things that I'm listening to and watching this week. Uh, there's going to be a list of everything that I talked about in the description bar below, as well as links to all of my social media so you guys can talk to me there. Don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!